What's up with it, world? It's your boy, Ken Cambino, man. We back at it. I hope you're feeling great. I'm just trying to get the camera together. We uh, lean it up. I hope you're feeling great. You know what I mean? Feeling great. But in this video today, we're going to be talking about energy, 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 man. And the best way to get the most from our energy, man. Because a lot of y'all, and when I say y'all, I mean me too not excluded so please don't get offended when i say y'all but a, yada, a lot of y'all spend a lot of energy in ways where it's not beneficial and you're wondering why you're not where you want to be because you're spending energy in ways that's not beneficial you got your niche going on you're trying to get your business going on you 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 got your hustle you're an entrepreneur you know what i mean maybe you got a nine to five you're trying to be promoted but you or ambitious and you working towards something working towards something you know what i mean but you got a group of people that can't see what you work they can't see the progress of what you're working towards so they you're the highlight of the conversation they talking negative about you negative about you negative about you so i heard it is they echo back to you you know what i mean and that strip you from your focus you need to stop focusing on your hustle now you're focusing on the highlight of the conversation. You focus, you focus it on you, but you focus, you focus it on what they saying about you, like it fucking matters. And that's robbing you. That that's robbing you, because whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you focus on grows. So if I'm focusing on your outcome, nine times out of ten, that's I'm gonna share that reality with you. I don't want to share that reality with you, so I will not focus on that bullshit. So as an entrepreneur, as a as a person that's trying to get a niche going, as a uh, as an as a student, as a whoever, whatever you're trying to get going, whatever you're working on, it's not beneficial for you to focus on what these haters are saying about you. If you're trying to get to wherever it is you're trying to get to, you're trying to become the greatest version of yourself, you have to focus on yourself because nothing else matters. People going to say whatever the hell they have to say. They're supposed to say it. That's why you have critiques, commentaries, all that other shit. You know what I mean? Talk shows, radios. That's what that's for. But it, people that are successful, they know that, and they, it don't deter them from playing the game. Like really playing the game, playing the game, because you ain't playing the game if you're sitting down just because you missed a pass, a couple passes, you know what I mean? And now you're sitting down and sales losing and you're worrying about what the crowd's saying. You ain't playing the game because you're sitting down worrying about what the crowd's saying. I don't have to give a damn if you missed a hundred balls and the crowd going, boo, boo, and you missed two more hundred after that. As long as you keep getting out there running, and holding them two hands up trying to catch the ball, you're moving forward. you in the gym working. And you're going to grow as long as you focus on you. But the minute you start focusing on that crowd and how you missing balls, you're not going to grow. Because where you at right now is not the end all and be all unless you accept it. Unless you accept it. And sitting up there worrying about what they saying, negative about your hustle or what you got going on, is accepting the reality. That's accepting defeat. If you're not going to accept defeat, you're not even focused on that because you got work to do. You done missed the honey ball, so you got to work even harder. I can't focus on that because I'm, I'm trying to kiss this ball. And, and that's just the concept of applying energy in, in, in areas in your life where they be beneficial, where they reciprocate, come back to you a hundredfold. The student who stays up all night, he sacrifices time for partying, for studying, and he stay up all fucking night, and he do that shit 365 days. But you know what? It come back a hundred. It's reciprocated because you know what? He get a degree. He living well. He can take care of himself. He's living great. It's reciprocated. He became a better version of himself. That's how we got to do it. You know what I'm saying? But if he let his peers, hey man, come on out this weekend. We going out to the club. 
If he let his friends, you know what I'm saying, stop him, deter him, convert him to their ways, then he won't he wouldn't have the life that he have. You gotta focus on you. You have to focus, especially if you're trying to win. You have to focus, you have to be selfish. And that's a law. That's a law of nature. You gotta focus on you. No, nobody come before you. Because you can't do, you need your brain. My granddaddy once told me, I'm a destitute. A man that can't take care of himself is a destitute. You need your, you need your brain. You come first. You gotta better take care of you. A man that ain't, excuse me, a man that ain't taking care of yourself is a destitute. You, 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 you come first. You come first, so you gotta protect your energy and apply it in areas in your life, apply it in ways where to come back, where to come back. Getting up every day in the morning, going for a walk every day. That's applying energy, that's applying energy in areas in your, in your life where to come back. Because now you're walking, you know what I mean? Health is wealth. Now you're feeling great. Now you got more energy to go about doing what you need to do throughout the day. You see what I'm saying? So we got to learn how to take from these negative situations and apply it into positive areas. Or these negative situations in our life that happen, you know what I'm saying? Make some positive out of them. Don't worry about what Willie Earl and Joe Smiley, because Willie Earl and Joe Smiley, they sitting down on the block. Drinking 211s. Talking about what, laughing at you, missing the ball. Laughing at you because you attempting to do something that ain't working. You ain't figured it out yet. That's the only thing. You ain't figured it out yet. That's they go. They trying to, <laughs> to, to <laughs> sit up there passing on 40 laughing at you and you sitting up there worrying about what they doing. Sitting down watching them. That's, excuse me, that's a fool. That don't make no sense. I don't give a damn what it is. Even Apple, when they when they create apps, it's always a little nicks and cracks. Look, you know what I mean? That you got to get out the system, but you work. You got to figure it out, but you work through it. You don't let that stop you. They ain't Apple. They ain't finna let no one or two reviews stop them from creating this great fucking app or product. And you can't either. You can't let people stop you. Let them talk. Let them talk, man. So that, that's how we're going to do it. If you want to win and you want to become the greatest version of yourself, man, and you 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 really want to apply energy in, way, in areas in life, in your life, where it's beneficial. Where it's beneficial. You worrying about what Willie Earl and what anybody saying negative about you and thinking about that all day in your life and letting that grow like a motherfucking seed that was planted in the ground. I promise you, you ain't gonna have nothing but weeds in your mind and a body follow the mind. The best thing you can do for yourself and for your future and your generation and your legacy is to apply energy to where it's best beneficial in your life and to stop worrying about what they saying negative about you. Because you gonna figure it out, it's just a matter of time. And as long as you are living, you got time. Well, are you willing to sacrifice? Will you keep going? Will you keep going? Will you keep going? Will you keep going? That's it. So what they talking? Let them talk. As a matter of fact, that's how you know someone. If you're the highlight of the conversation, that's how you know you're doing something right. Because I promise you, a hater ain't talking about nobody that ain't doing nothing good or attempting to do something good. It don't give them a thrill. I ain't never, <laughs> I ain't never seen a hater. <laughs> I ain't never seen a hater talk about a nigga that ain't got nothing. They always talk about people that's attempting to do something, that's trying to change, to break the cycle, the generation curse, to, you know what I mean? Or oh, you think you somebody. Because it's their job to try to hinder you, to stop you. But it's your job to apply energy in areas in your life where it's beneficial. Let them talk, they gonna talk. You see what I'm saying? But you take that energy and you apply. Yeah, 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 they say they ain't finna do this, you know what? You on the track. Now you running 10 extra miles because you thinking about Willie Earl, Joe Smiley, and Bum Quisha in your head. You know what I'm saying? Now you running 10 extra laps because you thinking about what they, you see what I'm saying? Now you staying up all night because you thinking, reading that book, trying to figure it out. Keep going.
Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and focus on you, focus on the dream, and we both gonna get there, I promise you.